Hello everyone, welcome to Rasis Classroom. Today we have solved a nice exponential mass problem. This question is p to the power 6 plus 64 is equal to 0. p is equal to what? How to solve this interesting mass problem? So, solution. Our question, it will be p to the power 6 plus 64 is equal to 0. So, even easily here, p to the power 6 plus 64 is equal to 0. Now, at this moment, here is p to the power 6. So, you can see that it will be p to the power 2 bracket power is 3. Here, 2 times 3, it will be 6. And it will be 64. So, we know that 64, it will be 4 to the power 3. So, 4 to the power 3. It will be 64. 4 times 4 times 4, it will be 64. Now, at this moment, you can see here e cube plus v cube. So, we know that e cube plus v cube, this formula, it will be a cube plus v cube. We know that it will be a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. Now, if I apply this formula here, so you can see here a is equal to p square and b is equal to 4. Now here this expression it will be a plus b I mean p square plus 4. So it will be p square plus 4 times and here a square I mean p to the power 2 and again whole to the power 2. So it will be p to the power 4. So you can see that it will be p to the power 4 and minus a b a times b i mean this time this it will be 4 p square plus b square i mean 4 square it will be 16 is equal to 0 now we'll find out here is two case our first case is equal to p square plus 4 is equal to 0 and other case p to the power 4 minus 4 p square plus 16 is equal to 0 now you can see here p to the power 2 plus 4 is equal to 0 then here p to the power 4 minus 4 p square plus 16 is equal to 0 now at this moment if i move on this 4 in this side it will be p to the power 2 is equal to negative 4 now at this moment p is equal to what so if i use both side square root so you can see this expression this square root cancel so it will be p is equal to plus minus square root 4 and here is square root minus 1 then you can see here p is equal to plus minus 2 and square root negative 1 it will be i here is p is equal to plus minus 2 i both are complex solution complex number here is no real solution so we are find out here is the imaginary number but here p is equal to what our question p to the power 6 so 6 so we are find out here is 6 root but we are find out here is 2 root or need others 4 root so we are find out here is 4 roots how to solve this question so at this moment you can easily here a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to 16 so here p square it will be minus p plus minus square root v square minus 4ac over 2a now at this moment you can see here p square is equal to minus b we know that v is equal to this so it will be minus 4 and here plus minus square root v square i mean minus 4 whole square minus 4ac a is 1 and c is 16 over 2a a is 1 now you can see easily here p to the power 2 is equal to then minus minus it will be plus 4 plus minus square root negative 4 square so it is even number so i can say it, it will be positive so it will be 16 minus 4 times 16 it will be 64 over 2 times 1 it will be 2. now you can see easily here p square this p square it will be 4 plus minus square root minus 48 
over 2. 64 minus 16, it will be negative 48. Then this expression, it will be 4 plus minus square root. We know that minus 48, it will be 16 times 3 times negative 1 over 2. 16 times 3, it will be 48 and here is minus 1. Then at this point, if I evaluate this expression, I can see that it will be 4 plus minus square 16, it will be 4. Then here is square root 3. And we know that square root negative 1, it will be i over 2. Now, at this point, if I separate this fraction, so it will be p to the power 2 is equal to 4 divide 2 plus minus 4 square root 3 i over 2. Then this 4 divide this 2 will be 2. Then this 4 divide this 2 will be also 2. And here is square root 3 i. So we will find out here is p squared is equal to 2 plus 2 square root 3 i. It is also a complex number. It is also imaginary number. So how to solve this question? P squared is equal to this. We will find out p is equal to what? So at this moment you can see here p to the power 2 is equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root 3 i. Then here <coughs> p <coughs> squared is equal to 2 plus so 2 it will be 3 plus minus 2 square root 3 i minus 1. We know that 3 minus 1 it will be this 2. So at this moment you can see here p square is equal to this 3 it will be square root 3 all to the power 2. We know that square is cancel we will find out again this 3. Then here is plus minus 2 then is square root 3 this is square root 3 and we know that it will be i and here is minus 1 it will be i square. We know that negative 1 it will be i square. Then you can see here p square it will be you know that a square plus 2ab plus b square or a square minus 2ab plus b square it will be a plus b or a minus b whole to the power 2. So if I apply this formula here so it will be square root 3 plus minus i and whole to the power 2. So this is equal to this. Now at this moment if I use both sides square root we will find out here is p is equal to plus minus square root 3 plus minus i. This is our final answer in this math problem. This is complex solution also. Here is four solution. This is plus minus, this is plus minus. And we are find out other solution p is equal to plus minus 2i. So this is four solution, this is two solution. So it will be six solution in this math problem. But here is no real solution. Both are com complex solution. Thank you all. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe my channel for others interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.